हेलो एवरीवन तो यूजुअली पीपल फेस दिस प्रॉब्लम एंड ऑल दो आई ट्राइड टॉकिंग अबाउट इट इन द पास्ट एज वेल आई आई मेड वन वीडियो ऑन अ सिमिलर टॉपिक बट दिस टाइम वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट बिट बकेट एंड द प्रॉब्लम इज एक्चुअली सेम और सिमिलर सो बेसिकली दिस यू दो एरिक इज ट्राइंग टू अपग्रेड बिट बकेट एंड Eric is trying to understand two things. Number one, where can you find the Bitbucket files for the upgrade? So right now, Eric is on uh, six version six something, and uh, Eric is trying to go to version seven something, which is fine, or maybe the latest uh, long-term support version. But he can't find the application files for Bitbucket. which i totally understand but because it is not easy especially nowadays but but i know how to do it because i do it every day or not every day but i do it regularly so i'll show you how to find the files from the beginning not just the direct link and the second question eric is trying to ask is uh, the is the upgrade path can we upgrade directly to let us say version 7 so right now he is on version version 6 can you go to version 7 dot something directly because in between there were some versions so let us start with the with the first thing how can we find the file the the, the download file or the application file and this of course applicable for not just pit bucket for but also for uh, other atlassian products that you can install on server or data center i should say data center so you have to go to products from the vain website then of course you don't you won't really find bit bucket here so you need to go to view all product which is uh, of course not ideal but bit bucket is of course not like jira not everyone is using it but there is a way to reach this page and when you scroll down you will find this page called this link called bit bucket uh one thing which i mean because i am also a web developer usually i think you should also try i think it's a simple tip for everyone If I'm trying to search for something, and if I try to do Control F, Bit Bucket, it will take me to this link here, but not uh, this particular uh, Bit Bucket part here. Although this is a logo, it is an image, and I'm sure I'm sure there is like some alternate text. Uh, so I think it's probably more on the accessibility side, but it's okay. We are not really talking about how to design a web page. We are we are today trying to understand where can we find the Bit Bucket files. So click on it. because it is very obvious and uh, you will find this link called get it for free and if you click on get it for free you might be taken to the bit bucket on cloud which we don't really want to do we want to download it on the server so you have to click on bit bucket data center because that's what you need to do and then of course you know you on top you will find uh, you know there are some changes to server and data center products blah 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 we we all know about it so scroll down and you will find uh, this uh uh even i'm struggling today so so basically try it for free click on it and then you will have have the option to either install it on azure or aws which we don't want to do we have to click on the uh check our download archive or you can actually click on uh, this link upgrade to latest release or interested in more trial options if you click on it you can of course find uh, this questionnaire or you know this form So let us say you want to upgrade. You click click on next. Your current server version. You are are you on server or data center version? If you click on next, you will then uh, select your long term support or whatever version that you may have or whatever version that you want to upgrade to. Uh, basically, the thing is that you can actually click on this link. I think this link is more convenient. All versions links. So simply click on this link. Download archives and you have this link on the previous step as well. And here, of course, you can find out all the links to. all the previous versions so you have version 7 all the version 7s of course right now we are talking about 7.16 which uh, is the latest release it may not be the lts version long term support i believe but uh, you can always find out and th- on this page you will find each and every uh, each and every supported um or i should say all, all the uh, recent 
application files for those versions. So I believe 7.6.9 is long-term support. So click on it, download and download it and then enjoy using it. But of course, the next question is the upgrade path. Can you upgrade from 6.0 to 7. something or whatever? So I know what the link is, but what I recommend you is to go to google.com or duckduck.com or brave search and type in upgrade <laughs> bitbucket and uh, you'll find this bitbucket server upgrade guide and click on it and of course you know don't trust google all the time you have to make sure that you're on the page where you're not really looking at a page of a specific version so on top we are looking at 7.16 so basically for each and every version there, there is a similar page there should be a similar page and here you can find out details about uh, whether you can upgrade um, directly or not and if you scroll down a bit you will find uh, of course you know we are talking about the technical requirements of the server or server system requirements like you need like this particular version of mysql this particular version of java and you know those things and uh, you will have the upgrade path so basically if you look at the upgrade path here it says you can upgrade update from any version of bitbucket to the latest version as there is no required upgrade path How, however there is a there, there is a, there is an upgrade path for jira and confluence which you have to follow for confluence also it is not very complicated but for jira definitely you have to follow a path if you are on really old version of jira and that is the case for i know a lot of companies are still on very old version of jira which is strange but i'm sure there are they have valid reasons but here you can find the information about the path that you need to take so follow the documentation and of course when you install or upgrade any application atlassian application you can either do it using the installer or i personally prefer using the manual method because uh, it will give you more flexibility it will give you uh, more control on how you want to install it where you want to install it and uh, you know you have more control on the process itself so do take a look at uh, this page for more details on uh, the path and of course you know on on top you have this table that will tell you is using the installer the right upgrade method for you so basically it will tell you or give you some guide about uh, uh, read about how to upgrade bitbucket from a from an archive file so basically you know the, the tar.gz file the manual method and uh, usually this is of course a more recommended method on at least on linux on, on windows installer works all the time because you just need to install it and it, if you already have an application installed jira confluence or maybe bitbucket it will perform the upgrade for you so there could be a downtime it depends yeah usually there is a downtime but uh, not always i think you can also take a look at rolling upgrade uh, which is of course applicable for data center because you know on, on data center version you can upgrade one node and it will it will not really affect your users who are still using bitbucket because usually when you upgrade i mean jira can can go down and of course people will shout but if Bit, bitbucket goes down and if developers are you know committing their code and the moment they push uh, <laughs> their changes to the repository it will fail and uh, they will start shouting and developers are not always uh, uh very polite about those complaints so follow good follow these practices and if you're doing an upgrade i think whenever you're doing some kind of a kind of an upgrade i think uh, there is no um I, I mean i'm sure you have some policy in your organization but try to do it or do it on weekend on a weekend so that people are aware of it and especially when you're upgrading bitbucket you have to be a bit careful because you know people peop, i mean because because you have these these rep repositories you have you might have some plugins that you might be using and uh, it will directly impact those users who are actually who rely on a tool like bitbucket for for their work not just on a daily basis but on on hourly basis because bitbucket is is important tool and uh, and that is it that is all i wanted to talk about in this video of course in this video we talked about two things number one how to find the installer that you can use to either either to install bitbucket or to upgrade number two the upgrade path 
and as always whenever you're doing an upgrade do it on of course a test environment first make sure you have uh, your a, a, a clone or a mirror of your current production bitbucket or jira or confluence and uh, always perform this uh, upgrade on a test environment and then test it properly make sure all the apps are also upgraded if they have to be upgraded which i think you need to in most cases but uh, if you're doing a major upgrade then definitely uh, there will be a difference on the apps as well it it might not be the case for minor upgrades but definitely for a, for a major upgrade so that is that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you thank you very much